Fresh from his midday nine-hour nap, here's Johnny Lampert. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I got to tell you, I, I drove up here from New York. Eight-hour ride. Horrifying. Came up here with my parents. Eight hours, whole time, these two are singing along with the radio. I don't know about you people, I don't like this, because it's not like they're bad singers, it's just that they never know the words. <laughs> Ever. We're listening to the Steve Miller band, you know that song, Jet Airliner? Goes big old Jet Airliner. My dad's in the back. Bingo Jet had a light on. <laughs> Bingo Jed had a light on. I thought the words were in. The Beatles came on, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, the girl with kaleidoscope eyes. Julia Lennon's back there. The girl with kaleidoscope by. <laughs> then my mother kicks in. Lucy's in a fight with Linus. <laughs> Oh, God, it never stops. It never stops. Billy Joel, you made the rice. <laughs> I made the gravy. <laughs> oh, here she comes. She's a bad reader. <laughs> if I can't have you, I don't want that ugly baby. <laughs> Then my dad kicks in with Elton John, you know, don't let your son go down on me. That's enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> so I'm here, and I'm happy to be away from them. <laughs> uh, I got to tell you about something I did recently that uh, really made an impact on my life. I joined the Big Brothers of uh, America Association. Oh, it's going great. Every, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Every Saturday, they come to my house, they take me to the zoo. <laughs> the circus. It's almost as good as the Meals on Wheels program. <laughs> but um, tell you about me. Uh, like I said, I am from uh, Rockland County, New York. I'm, uh, I'm Jewish. Although a lot of people say I don't look Jewish, they say I look more like... Well, Barney Rubble, but, you know. <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough. Uh, I'm 33 years old. I still live at home with my parents. Go ahead, laugh. I don't care. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Somebody's got to be there when the cable guy shows up. <laughs> okay? You need a UPS package signed. I'm the man. I'm home all day watering plants, feeding cats. Talking to Jehovah Witnesses when they come by. <laughs> and let me tell you, if they want to talk, they make a very big mistake when they come to my house. Okay, because I'm ready. I got all day, I'll convert them. <laughs> They'll walk out, Hava, Nagila, Hava. Oh, my dad wants me out real bad. He's like, John, you know, you're 33 years old. When are you going to move out? I said, Dad, I was going to ask you the same question. <laughs> you're 65. Get the hell out of here already. <laughs> and he's like, well, you know, I'm just concerned. I mean, what are you going to do when we're dead? Well, first thing I'm going to do is move into the big bedroom. Then I'm going to take the plastic off the furniture. <laughs> so he's telling me how hard he works. Who cares? I told him, I said, Dad, I didn't ask to be born, all right? On that magical night I was conceived, you should have wrapped that rascal. Because <laughs> I fought my way past millions of other sperm, up the ovum, impregnated that egg, and that is the last hard job I am ever doing. <laughs> I'm still tired. <laughs> I 
I beat a million people in a race, now I gotta shovel the walk? Screw you. Oh, everybody wants me to move. I had a guy come to the door the other day. This is true. A guy knocks on the door. He's like, John, you know, I know it's none of my business, but I've seen you around town. You're 33 years old. You don't pay any rent. You got no responsibility. I mean, you got to move out and get a job and start a life. I said, look, kid, give me the paper and shut the hell up. <laughs> I've had enough of these people. And my mother's another one. You know, as my mother, my mother expects so much from me as a person. And the problem is, I don't expect anything from myself. <laughs> you understand? I, I wake up in the morning, mission accomplished. <laughs> but you've been great, you know. I, I gotta tell you, you know, a lot of comedians come here. It's their big break doing the Just For Last Festival. You know, uh, you know, you know what happens? Because you know when you make it big, you, you know, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of making it big. Because you make it big, you got to move to Los Angeles, you got to be in TV, movies. I mean, who's to say my parents are willing to relocate? I mean, they may not want to go there. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.